Hello, K2 students. It's Ms. Chapman here with a special book to share for this year's Bullying Awareness Week. It's written by one of my favorite authors, Trudy Ludwig, and illustrated by Mike Carrado, and it's called The Power of One. Every act of kindness counts. So you can see in the first illustration that this guy is yelling. And we don't know what he's yelling because it's just a bunch of scribbles, but we can imagine that he's really upset. And this girl doesn't look too happy to be yelled at. And over in the corner, we see that someone is noticing what's happening. And in class, we've been wondering, what is she thinking? Some students have thought she might be thinking, oh man, that girl looks a little bit scared and maybe she doesn't feel safe. Should I tell an adult? What should I do? Should I stop it? What can I do in this situation? But one thing's for sure, she's feeling some empathy, which means that she's imagining how this girl might be feeling. The power of one, every act of kindness counts. And you can see that now the girl who was yelled at is crying. The boy has stomped away and this girl is coming closer. I think she's about to take action. Sometimes one can feel like a small and lonely number, but don't let this little number fool you. Oops. So this girl's feeling kind of small and lonely and all on her own, just one person. And this girl's also feeling possibly a little bit nervous, a little bit lonely, and she's just one person. So don't let this number fool you. One can be pretty powerful. Let's see what happens. One is a lot bigger and more powerful than you think. And I love how the illustrator has just put the words with a drawing. And when we read this in class, I asked kids to imagine, what is this girl saying? We can tell that it's a caring thing because it's symbolized in a heart. Some students thought maybe she was saying, I'm so sorry that that guy yelled at you. It wasn't okay. You don't deserve to be treated like that. Some kids said she might be coming up and saying, are you okay? I saw what happened. Some kids wondered if maybe she was saying, are you okay? Would you like me to get an adult? What do you imagine she might be saying? One, after all, is the starting point for change. And here her tear is falling into this little crack in the sidewalk. One good listener can make even the smallest voice heard. And it looks like she's really being caring and she's feeling cared for by this friend. And we can see that something's growing out of that tear. And so many students said they thought what was growing was friendship. One shy smile can lead to a friendship. One caring friend can open the door for several more. Now, I love this illustration because it really seems like two things are happening here. First is that this girl is inviting her friends, maybe saying, hey, this girl over here is having a really bad day. Friends, can you come and cheer her up? And they're all coming alongside to maybe befriend her as well. But the second thing that's happening is I think everybody's noticed that this park is a little bit junky. There's a lot of garbage around. And so people are coming with a wheelbarrow and some shovels. And I wonder what they're planning on doing. They're picking up garbage. Oh, and in this illustration, I'll move my picture down. We can see that the boy who has yelling at her at the beginning is sort of looking on with a little bit of curiosity about what's happening here. So they're picking up the garbage and we can see that the boy who had yelled at her at the beginning is coming back. And as we look at his body, we can make some predictions about how he is feeling. So when I asked students, some of the feelings they thought he was feeling was nervous. Maybe he's a little nervous to come and talk with her. Sad. Maybe he's feeling sad or a bit of regret for how he treated her. And also sorry. We can tell by the way that he's a little bit hunched over and looking down that he's feeling a little bit sorry for what he did. And I like to imagine that these two are friends and what happened at the beginning was possibly a fight that they were having where they were, where he was quite angry. One sincere apology can help heal big and little hurts. And again, I love how the illustrator is showing what he's saying in 
pictures. So when we see this picture of flowers and sunshine, we can imagine that he probably didn't go up to her and just say, sorry. He probably went up to her and offered a very sincere apology. And a sincere apology says, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You're really important to me and I see that I hurt you. Could you forgive me? And how can I make it better? So he's given a very sincere apology, I think, as we see in this little picture. And he's offering her this flower maybe to add to the garden. And she looks like she's accepting his apology. He's feeling a little bit better. Maybe they're going to be able to save this friendship by having that sincere apology. One warm hug can lift our spirits when we're feeling down. Now, some kids were thinking, well, that's weird that they're having a hug because we're kind of in COVID times. We're not used to seeing people hug, but I think that was part of their apology process. And this is what makes me think that they were friends before because they were able to hug and say, okay, I forgive you, let's start over. And when we get angry, let's make different choices next time and not yell at each other. One thoughtful idea can bring a community together. And I love seeing how the garden is coming together with all these people working together and the seeds he has in his hand have a little bit of magic to them. One handful of seeds can sprout into a garden. And I love seeing that they have planted not only flowers, but also foods. What foods can you see here? I recognize some cabbage and some watermelon and some Brussels sprouts and some cauliflower and eggplants and carrots and beets and rosemary. Delicious. One harvested garden can make a bountiful feast. One thing I noticed about the illustration here is that they have taken real pictures of real arugula and, and um, onions and tomatoes and fruits here. And I thought that was a neat addition to the illustrations. Acts and words of kindness do count. And it all starts with one. And I loved how the illustrator created a table that looked like a one and how one person's kindness, one person noticing that someone looked sad and going up and comforting them and inviting friends over to make them feel included and cared for, created this beautiful space and these beautiful friendships and this wonderful feast. And so for Bullying Awareness Week, I would like to challenge you to be that one person. How can you be one person in the big puzzle of STS that makes it a safe and caring place? Thanks for listening to my story, friends. Bye.